Hello, welcome back to The Walking Dead. We've just found a boat, thanks to Clem. Still don't know quite how she got into that shed, but I'll allow it for now. Found a group of cancer people, cancer people, cancer patients that are in remission. Escaped from Crawford. I guess we don't need to find a boat in Crawford anymore. Okay, what's taking Kenny so long? What's taking Kenny so damn long? How hard can it be to- It'll take as long as it takes, Lee. Will you quit pacing? You're making everyone nervous. Why are you even still here? Hey, if your friend really can get that boat working, you're taking me with you as payment for saving your asses. That sounds I figure that's fair, fair to enough, me. Yeah. <laughs> I like her enough to be alright with that. Well? <sighs> you want the good news oh. or the bad news? God damn it. Bad news. Let's get the bad news out of the way first. Bad news is, she's not taking us anywhere the shape she's in right now. Gas tank's empty and the battery's dead. She. So what's the good news? That's it. That's all she needs. Some gas and a battery. Other than that, she's good to go. Well, how are we supposed to get that stuff? Ah, <laughs> Crawford. Sounds like Crawford is the one place that has everything we need. Never mind, we'll we have to go there it. after all. Now hold on a minute. Surely we have to try? If there are people left in this city who are still alive, who still have supplies, what harm can it do to ask? Trust me. You don't I mean, know I wasn't me. thinking of asking. I, I was thinking of you showing up with taking. a man. <laughs> might as well put a noose around his neck. They don't exactly welcome children with open arms either. What the hell kind of a place are we talking about here? The worst kind? But I don't see what other choice we have. And just how exactly do you figure we do this? Quietly. Because from what I've heard, that place ain't exactly friendly to outsiders. There's got to be some way we can sneak in there undetected. There might actually be a way. I know the sewer system that runs beneath Crawford like the back of my hand. Y'all wouldn't happen to have a map by any chance. Molly? Yeah, actually. Wait, do we? Oh, shit, yeah, of course. I forgot. I think I could lead us through so we could pass under the perimeter and right into the center where they keep their supplies. Nice. We come up right underneath them, take them by surprise, grab what we need, and get out before they even knew what hit them. That's actually not the worst idea I've ever heard. I mean, it's close, but I don't know. Maybe it could work. Yeah, I've I like thought about it before, just never had the people to do it. But I think if we all work together, we could pull it off. And what do you want in return for all this help you're giving us? Crawford doesn't just have what you need for your boat. They're also well stocked with medical supplies. Medicine that my people could use, just as yours could. We can do this. We have to. So, it's decided then? We're going to Crawford? We can do this. I know it. Hell yeah, we can. Are nice we to see Kenny back on this? form. I mean, oh, what Ben. I don't know about Shit you, in your kid, hands I'd rather and clap. take a chance on doing something than just sitting around here waiting to die. That boat out there is an answered prayer. Just gotta push a little bit farther. Are you in or out? Say out, say out, say out, tonight, you bitch. Under cover of dark, I'll go let my people know. Give you all a chance to prepare. I'll be back before midnight. Be careful. That's how I'm still alive. <laughs> nice. I told you to stay in your room. How long have you been there? Is it going to be dangerous? Is what yeah. going to be dangerous? Crawford. Think it's going to be dangerous. I can't lie to you, Clem. Yeah, it's going to be dangerous. But it's the only way to get the things we need to make Omi better and get the boat working. That's why we have to do this. Do you understand? To be fair, though, why would they have medicine for Omi? I don't want Omid? anyone else to die. If anyone who gets sick is just killed, surely that wouldn't be a place for medicine. No one else is going to die, I promise. You can't promise that. No, I guess I can't. Sorry. I guess I should go get ready. Uh, say what now? You said you'd need all of us to do this. <laughs> and you said I'm a big help, remember? I love you, Clem, but you're Mama not coming Crawford to fucking Crawford. Crawford. Place left in Savannah that still has people. 
That means it must be where my mom and dad are, right? Clam. Where I'm going, it's just too dangerous. For children especially. You said I'm supposed to always stay close to you. God damn it. <laughs> this argument again. Can't I come with you? You can't, babe. Oh my god, it's an actual... Oh no, I did, I did, oh, I thought, I didn't think that there'd be any way to let her come. I can't risk it, Clem. I'm really sorry. No. I'm sorry. Oh, I feel so bad, but it's so dangerous. They literally just execute children. And it's not like we're going in to make friends. Might be bullets flying. It would be super irresponsible. God damn it. Check out what I found in the garage. Hatchet, hacksaw, some other tools. Might come in handy on this little break-in. Nice. Can I talk to you a minute? What's up? I took another look at the boat. She's a 30-footer. So? So we're gonna have a capacity problem. Oh, that no. That size ain't gonna hold more than five people. Even with one of them a kid. Me, five Finn, people. Clem, Krista, Omi, Ben, Marlon. Assuming everyone makes it back alive, that's still one too many. Even if we cut Molly loose. Before this is over, we're gonna have to make a decision. <laughs> Bye, Ben. Bye. I'm just Bye, saying, Ben. If we want the best chance of... Who the hell is this? This is Bree. She can help us. Help us how? I was a student at the school where Crawford keeps their supplies. I know the layout. With her oh help, man, I hope fashion. I get to ditch Anyone Ben and with sail off into so. the sunset then what are we waiting for? with his Let's crying face left on the shore. That would make my 2018. Hold up just a sec. You understand why you have to stay behind, don't you? I guess. Plus you have a job to do. An important job. I need you to stay here and watch over the house. Watch over Omi. But what should I do if something happens while you're gone? Oh. <laughs> well, we trained her for a reason. Here, I want you to take this. You remember how to use it, don't you? It's just like I showed you. I remember. So if anyone tries to get inside the house that isn't one of us, or if something does happen to Omid. I know what to do. Let's get you inside. Let's get this over with. Okay. I can't believe you can actually take Clem with you, man. That seems so risky. This should be it. We're right underneath the center of Crawford. The old school should be directly above us. Okay, people. This is it. Remember the plan. We stay quiet, we stay hidden, and we stay together. We find what we need, and we get the hell out before anyone even knows we're there. Got it? That is super optimistic. <laughs> but uh, with any luck. Let's go. <laughs> Good thing they don't have lookouts, eh? Surely they know about the sewers. Where is everybody? There should be guards patrolling. Ah, uh, well. What? Are you disappointed? It's just strange is all. Maybe zombies got in. Over there by the door. Ah, it looks like a zombie to me. Me and Kenny will sneak up, try to take him out quiet. The rest of you wait for our signal, then follow us over. 
Everybody got it? Okay, Kitty, let's do this quiet. No shooting unless there's no other choice. Right behind you. That is totally a zombie. Look at those hands. What the fuck? That was in the jaw, not the brain. You need to finish him off. Lol. The land of the dickheads is what the done. What is a walker doing inside here? Get inside, fast! To be fair, I'd prefer to go up against a group of walkers than a group of humans who know what they're doing and want to kill you. One of the options is mindless. That is preferable. You can bait them with loud noises. I mean, I guess you can bait dumb humans too. But bit of a difference. Fuck. Fuck. Do you think they saw us? Your guess is as good as mine. Shit. <laughs> what the hell happened here? Yeah, you stay freaked out. This place out, was supposed man. to be secure. What always happens, I guess. In the end, the dead always win. Oh man, we are so screwed. No, this is good. Vernon's right. We can deal with walkers easier than armed guards. I agree. So long exactly. as we don't let them box us in, we can still do this. It's the, the walkers, all zombies' great weakness. <laughs> Every no long-range weapons. Changes. Do you even have any idea how many of them are out there? No. You want to do a head count? Or do you want to get what we need and get the hell out of here? I'm warming to Krista the more she Come takes on. the piss out of Ben. <laughs> I got a bad feeling about this. Just keep moving. Just keep swimming, just keep swimming, just keep swimming, swimming, swimming. What Here. do we do? We swim. I still haven't seen Finding Dory. Finding Nemo was my shit when I was a kid. Looks okay. Everybody in. Uh, the magical self-closing door, excuse me? <laughs> Armory on that door, wow. Figures. Get your foot out, Lee. Kick that thing in. Looks like they were using this room as some kind of command center. Okay, so now what? Where do we start looking? In the armory. <laughs> hey, seems like a very good place to start. Let's bash that door down. Here. Man, get your spooky piano out. That's spooktacular. Uh. Where can we find some fuel for the boat? Fuel and battery are priority number one, There's not gonna lie. Shed across from the playground here. Much though I love Omid. Fuel, that's probably where it'll be. Lowest on the priority list after the boat. Any idea where we could find a battery? Uh, maybe at the auto shop. There used to be one in the alley outside the fire escape. Yep, it's called Herman's. You can't miss it. What about the medicine? Right here. Nurse's station. They were using it as a medical facility. How do you know that? Just makes sense. Haha, <laughs> she's from here too. 
But she seems okay. like a decent person, I'll make so the I guess she left the when shed they the started fuel. getting shitty. It'll be faster if I go with you. I can take you right to it. I'll come too. No, two people's enough. You stay here, see if you can use any of those tools we brought to get that armory door open. We might need to shoot our way out of here. I'll go for the medicine. I'll come with you. I know what to take. Okay. Guess that leaves me to go find us a battery. I'll go with you. Watch your back. Okay, we've got a plan. Everyone be careful. Stay close to one another. We'll all meet back here. Good luck. Sounds good to me. Okay, Lee, what are you waiting for? Is there anything in here? Dolls, TV, not really. Let's go. Must be the C. Oberson. Hmm. Looks like he figured himself as some kind of supreme leader. All illnesses and medical conditions must be disclosed. Children under 14 not admitted. I was reading that. If you're asked to leave, you can't return. Theft or looting not tolerated. Don't waste your rations. I hear walkers. Alleyway to the auto shops down here. You coming or not? I'm I'm on my way. Did you not see me on my way? They've already been fired. They're worthless. Dang. Oh, can actually open this locker. Can't open it without the combination. Damn. <laughs> Must be the door to the alleyway where the auto shop is. But where the hell is Molly? I mean, I imagine she just went ahead. She's very sure of herself. She's not going to wait around. Molly, you out here? Guess I'm not going that way. Looters will be shot on sight. Lovely. Auto shop must be down this way. Oh, I saw that. This episode has been the most jumpy episode out of all of them so far. They definitely want to give you a scare here. Put your back into it. Damn, it's jammed tight. Says the weakling. <laughs> Better not get too close. Okay, so. Oh my days. <laughs> nice to see you. I feel like she's getting some revenge on some dickheads here. I'll let her do that. Molly? Molly! What? I think I you got it. I think you got it. One more. Feel better? He's wearing medical scrubs. Some kind of scientist or doctor, maybe? Yeah, well, he ain't shit now. <sighs> Did you find us a way in? Yeah, but the garage door's jammed. Can't raise it. Not a problem. Look what I found. 
Wow, yeah. that's fortunate. That'll work. Hey, zombies. Hey, guys. Spin like you've never spun before. And then knock it out. Really? You're not going to knock it out? I guess they aren't smart enough to get down and crawl. <laughs> well, that's fortunate. Take a look around. I'll make sure no stragglers get under this door. Okay. Well, there's no way it's going to be right here. Well, I can see where the battery should be, but it's not. That would have been way too easy. Got to lower this first. I can't reach it up there. No power. God damn it. What does More this say? Rules. How did anybody live like this? I'd rather take my chances on the outside. Hmm. Looks like it's the holes for the lift hydraulics. It's locked. No way in. Huh. Oh, right. Don't I didn't realize I could... That holes apart with just my hands. Click this. Maybe if I had something to cut it with. Okay. <laughs> Anything around here? You got anything? Something you need? Think I can borrow that uh, hook thing of yours? I don't know. Hilda and I have been through Hilda, a lot hey? Hilda? That's what I call her. Don't judge. Please, can I borrow Hilda? I'll take good care of her. She won't get a scratch. I got your promise now. Not a scratch. As if you'd say you're not sure about lending it to us. When we're going to be staying in the same room as each other. When before, you lent it to us when you didn't even know if you'd ever see us again. Something you need? Uh, about the walker in the alley. Back there? He came at me up on that rooftop. Tried to take a bite out of me. So I took care of business. What, you got uh, a That's not what I meant. Weeks? I meant why. Uh, why the rage? like you went to town on him a little more than you needed to. Hey, you never really know when those things are all the way dead. I was just making sure. <laughs> Look, you want to get this battery sure. or not? Time's wasting. I feel like we'll find out her backstory eventually. What do you think happened to Crawford? Don't know, don't care. As far as I'm concerned, these fuckers got what was coming to them. Not a lot of sympathy for all the people who died here, huh? I have about as much for them as they did for the sick and the old and anyone else they didn't think was fit to belong in their little paradise. So yeah, fuck them. Fair so enough. why did you decide to help us? I told you. I'm expecting a ride on that boat once that hillbilly friend of yours has got it running. Oh, you God. Sure that's all of it? You want to keep interrogating me? Or do you want to get the damn battery and get out of here? I'm going to have a look I around. I guess we could you leave Ben and Krista. I think, I think we had to leave two. Ben and Krista could stay behind. She could come with. Okay, so we've got what we need to get all this sorted and get the battery, and we'll carry on doing that in the next part. So if you've enjoyed, please leave a like and subscribe. I would super appreciate that. And thanks for watching. See you next time.